Hello, it's Jason Payne with JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm at the beautiful community of River Chase in the north part of New Braunfels. This community has one acre and two acres and even larger acre sites. And it is beautiful out here, very peaceful, lots of deers. Anyways, the reason I'm here, look at the house behind me. One of my clients just closed on it and I wanted to do a video tour for her. So uh, let's go check it out. I absolutely love this community, the spacious lots, the really just tons and tons of oak trees everywhere, and it's so quiet and peaceful here. We are also not too far away from the Guadalupe River, so if you're into kayaking or something like that, you've got easy access to that. And uh, we are, I think, five or six miles from historical green Texas, which is kind of a small part of New Braunfels. So you do have easy access to everything, but you definitely get that nice, quiet country feel of this community. All right, let's go check out the inside of this beautiful house. All right, nice big entryway. I know my buyers are planning to make this into a double door. All right, but this is a beautiful door. All right, right when you come in, you can see this house definitely has a Venetian theme with the colors and the stone. I got granite on these little um, nooks. But right when you come in, you see the main living space and the A-frame roof and all of these windows. This is a stained floor where they just kind of stained the foundation, put some etches in there. And uh, you do have other tile coming on the entryway. And right up front, you do have the office with some built-ins. Let me make sure I find that light switch for it. This house is nuts, so trying to find all the lights. But there is a discoloration in the stain. The listing agent is still, we've been working at it all day, trying to get the, uh, get a contract out here to stain it. But beautiful office, super high ceilings up here. This is gonna be a little small closet, but uh, perfect for if you have your stuff trying to store in the office. But then also right up front, you do have the formal dining room with a little nook set up if you had a china cabinet or something. But once again, tall ceilings, lots of windows, and this is uh, stained concrete that looks like wood, how they had it done. But that little blemish there, hoping to get some stainers out to fix that too. But lots of little arches. All right, let's go focus back on the living room. You do have a fireplace that goes all the way up to the ceiling, some built-in speakers up there, and some built-in cabinets. But lots and lots of light coming in through this main windows. This will be your breakfast nook. And then you have the kitchen. A really nice curved two-tier countertop with a rock facade all the way around the front. Absolutely lovely. This is the refrigerator the seller uh, gifted to my client. It's a Whirlpool, nice refrigerator. Actually very nice refrigerator. So very clean, very nice. This is a gas community, so here is the oven, or the stove, and a nice, cool vent hood going up. Beautiful granite countertops. Nice, it's not a 50-50 sink, so that's a huge plus for my 
own preference. But the view from behind the sink. And lots of little outlets all around uh, this. So uh, those do come in handy. Like these little, little spice rack spaces. Lots of little cabinets tucked away here and there. Speaking of storage space, here is the pantry. It's a pretty good sized pantry with natural light inside. You do have two double stacked Bosch ovens. Very good brand. Then we come into, of course, this is going to be my favorite room, the wet bar. Because, yes, who doesn't want to have a wet bar in their house? And it was nice that the sellers left a few glasses. And uh, this could be the perfect game room, movie room. Um, they got some built in speakers here already. But you can definitely have some good times in here. We have, this is where you're gonna have your powder room. And something else always be considerate of, if you're a seller and you're getting re ready to leave, make sure you leave some toilet paper around. Um, those are just kind of the little things that you don't know a buyer will appreciate until all of a sudden you need to use the restroom and there's no toilet paper in the entire house. So as a real estate agent, I always do keep my emergency roll of toilet paper just for those needs but uh just have a little courtesy and always leave at least some toilet paper in one bathroom in the house when you are cleaning up for that final exodus this is your utility room i do like the fact they have a little drain set up in here just in case there is an accident it's not going to flood your whole house And of course, we've got to have a little Harry Potter room in here for some extra storage. Sorry, my daughter's not going to be in this video, so she's off doing kid stuff all summer long. But this is a unique room, a little different space. Um, I'm wondering if this was going to be a garage, but they just converted it. But it is a perfect little, got some lights that need to be replaced, perfect little mini apartment um, that can be used. It uh, definitely has more space than any dorms I had in the military. So yeah, if you've got those kids, and I know uh, my buyers who just bought this house, one of her kids is gonna move in here as a little apartment. And speaking of, oop, also has a good size closet and I don't please don't be parked putting YouTube comments all in there saying oh my gosh this house so brown personal choices and paint can be repainted but for the person living using this as a little apartment they've got their own little private porch here and I mentioned earlier in the video that this is a two acre lot. This is just the fenced in portion of it. And it goes quite a ways back there. One of the big advantages of River Chase is, and y'all know I love vintage jokes, but vintage jokes does have some pretty tight rules on what you can do. Those rules here at River Chase are definitely a little le more lax but kind of a good way so if the buyer of this house wanted to build his big giant man shed workspace additional garage back there they can without having to make it all look exactly like the house because that's what you'd have to do if you were trying to do it at vintage oaks so you do have some added benefits to less restrictions But it's a really nice little added feature. Speaking of decks, let's go out and see what looks from the main deck.
and then we'll head upstairs and then we'll hit the owner suite. I'll go out the main door. All right, there are a lot of deer in the neighborhood. Um, the, we talked to the seller a little bit at closing and that the deer will come right up to the fence, especially if they hear people talking, looking to get fed. Right now, it is almost five o'clock. And when I talk about you want the house facing the right direction, five o'clock's usually happy hour at my house. So you want to have shade on your deck. So the sun is setting towards the front of the house, or actually setting, I think, back that away. But you have plenty of shade on your deck, as you can see here. So the sun is not melting you. As I'm filming this, it is late July, 2021. It is now 94 degrees outside. So being in the shade is a big plus beautiful trees and this lot goes back here quite a ways because yeah it's a two acre lot love the fact that they've got the wood already put in up top there nice accent pieces does have a fan and some speakers and i already know uh, someone can make that first comment how much um, if this house was being listed i would tell you how much the house is listed for however my client just closed on the house and so then be wondering how much someone paid for it. well texas is a non-disclosed state so when someone asks you hey how much you paid for that house well it's none of their damn business what you paid for it. So I'm definitely not gonna put out on YouTube what my clients just paid for this house. So uh, no need to ask. It was listed for 850. What they paid for it is irrelevant. All right. Upstairs, you've got uh, Jack and Jill bathrooms. This house is a little bit older. I don't have the date right off my head, but it's like, yeah, you can tell they got the little short tubs, which is great for if you had a little baby. But there is a shower. You have the rain glass, so no one can watch your bits and pieces while you're getting a shower. But each room will have their own individual sink which comes in handy. And they will both have decent sized closets. So yeah, that's a decent sized closet there. Another thing I do like about this house is check out this Texas basement. They have already finished, well I wouldn't say finished out, but put the plywood down but they do have lots of spray foam insulation in it. That's gonna go a very long way to keeping the utilities down. But because one of the past owners of this house put all this plywood up, making this an ideal storage base for Christmas decorations or Halloween decorations, whatever decorations you wanna put up there, store your suitcases at. So this is a great spot for that. And it's still not real hot in here because of all the spray foam insulation. And here's the other side where all the air conditioning units does have the water heater upstairs. I'm not a big fan of that, but this house is a little bit older. It does have all the pans. This is a very new water heater, so we shouldn't have any big issues with that. And the expansion tank, everything's up to 2021 code, except for the fact that it's well, um, you can still have refrigerators in the not refrigerators, water heaters in the attic. It's just not my preference because, man, if that thing goes wrong, it goes real wrong. All right, let's go ahead and head on back downstairs. GoPro, stop recording. 
All right, we are now back downstairs. I'm gonna go check out the owner suite. We weave through all this. Like I said, it, I'm not a huge, my personal preference is I'm not a huge fan of the brown, but when you're going into a house like this, always remember paint's not that expensive overall. But it does have a beautiful multi uh, tiered ceiling. These shutters or blinds on here that are more, more like shutters. And that is not a cheap upgrade. If you're ever looking to get these done, you might be shocked at just how expensive getting these added to your windows could be. But it does a wonderful job blocking out the light. And you can open them up too. So, very cool. All right. go check out the owner suite got some built-in drawers so you can get yourself all get yourself showered get all your underwear all that stuff all that's done before ever coming out into the bedroom got the big double vanity oops I didn't turn the closet light on in here oh you can see he's got a nice big closet well, then I check yourself before you leave mirror. Oh, okay, that's why I didn't turn it on because it's an automatic light. So you have lots of room for your shoes, long dresses, regular clothes, and then more whatever crap you want to store way up high there. And then some more stuff you just want to hang on the hooks. So there's a really big closet. And uh, yeah, even this side, you've got more long stuff for shoes and then regular closets. All right, sorry, I'm making you dizzy, moving around more than I should. Regular toilet, pretty deep uh, jetted soaking tub. And then the step down shower, no need for a shower uh, curtain. Got your wand shower, your rain glass, and then two heads in here. So really spacious, really neat little shower setup. And I always like having that little door, so if you want to go straight out to the patio, you can. All right. Let's do the little wrap up here. GoPro turn off. GoPro turn off. GoPro stop recording. All right, that can wrap tour of this beautiful home that my client just bought in River Chase. It's a big community, lots of one acre home sites, two acre, some even five acre home sites. And it's about five or six miles up 306 from Green, Texas and New Braunfels and all the other shopping that goes along with it. Anyways, congrats to my client. This is a beautiful home, very quiet and very peaceful. And if you're considering moving to the greater Texas area and looking for a realtor, I'm always looking to take on new clients because I'm trying to grow my business and uh, it doesn't cost anything to use a realtor. All right, talk to you soon and thank you for watching my videos and keep sharing them too. All right, take care now. Bye. GoPro, stop recording.